This is our milk truck. He comes every day to pick up our milk and takes it to the creamery. When our milk truck arrives, the cold raw milk is tested again. It's then pumped into the creamery where it is pasteurized. When I started the creamery, we started out with glass bottled milk, butter, expanded into yogurt, and then we're doing ice cream, which was what I wanted to do in the first place. It's really important to us to keep our products as close to nature as possible. In California, when you take the fat out of the milk, you have to add solids. To do that, you either have to add powder or a non-fat condensed milk, and then they homogenize it. We didn't want to homogenize, so I figured out a way of condensing the milk through reverse osmosis, and then the cream still rises to the top. Homogenized milk has a different taste and different feel than unhomogenized milk, and I think a lot of the flavor is, is blended out. When I decided to, to do a milk, I didn't want to homogenize it. I didn't want to change the, what the actual flavor of milk is. And I think people, when they taste our milk, they, they taste the difference. Strauss milk, from my experience with it, is actually very rich. It's got, it's got a lot of texture in its taste. I'm really not a yogurt fan, but I've had at least four samplings, which must tell you something. It has to be good or I wouldn't have had one, let alone four. Because we use reverse osmosis instead of milk powder, we get this unique creamy consistency without using any additives. All right, whenever here, everyone say yum. Yes. Okay, we may make delicious yogurt, butter, and milk, but the real reason that Albert started this creamery I love ice cream, so, <laughs> so I, I love making good ice cream. When I went to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, I won third place in the regional contest, in the Western Regional Contest in Portland, Oregon, and so I had a little trophy with a little ice cream cone on top of it, and so it's something that uh, I enjoy doing.